Data analytics is a term that's come to be used to describe the science of analyzing raw data to make conclusions about that information. Used correctly, insights derived to help a business optimize its business performance, perform more efficiently, maximize profit, reduce risk, or make better strategically guided decisions. The history of data analytics is filled with promises about empowering entire organizations to be more data driven. Capabilities like data visualization, self-service, the cloud modernization have all arisen in recent years and yet insights from business data continues to be tantalizingly out of reach for some people. Data is typically stuck in silos and in hard to use static dashboards while reports never leave IT departments and insights stay stuck with analysts. Moving to a data-driven business model where decisions are made based upon hard data rather than a gut feeling is core to the wave of digital transformation sweeping through every industry in 2023 and beyond. It helps us react with certainty and in an uncertain world, especially when wars and pandemics upset the status quo. But the world of data and analytics never stands still. New technologies are constantly emerging that offer faster and more accurate access to insights. And as these new trends emerge, they bring new thinking on the best ways to put it to work across business and society at large. So here My name is Adam Morton, and I've written a couple of books on Snowflake. I've also been lucky enough to speak in front of my peers on a number of occasions. I've lived and worked in the UK, Europe and Australia during my career. And today, I'm on a mission to help as many people as I can fulfill their career potential by adding as much value as I can around data strategy and modern cloud data platforms. So here's my rundown of what I believe are the most important trends that will affect the way we use data and analytics to drive business growth in 2023. And the first one is data democratization. Now, this is the fancy name for putting the tools and data in the hands of, of the people that need it most. This trend doesn't look to discriminate between data consumers, background or experience. And that means we're not talking about data engineers or data scientists exclusively any longer. This means that education and enablement are key ingredients here. Ensuring a solid level of data literacy is crucial to ensure the success of a strategy which looks to break down data silos and democratize data across an organization. In 2023, businesses will understand that data is the key to forming deeper relationships with customers, developing better products and services, and optimizing their internal products to reduce cost and waste. However, it's becoming increasingly clear that this won't happen until the power to act on data-driven insights is available to frontline, shop floor, and non-technical staff, as well as functions such as marketing and finance. After all, no business user wants to raise a ticket with a data team and wait months until their request is finally reaches the top of the pile. The business doesn't stop, which typically means by the time a request is fulfilled by a traditional IT model, there's already a bunch of additional requests from the same business unit in the backlog waiting to be addressed. Research by McKinsey has found that companies that make data accessible to their entire workforce are 40 times more likely to say analytics has a positive impact on revenue. The bottom line here is that you cannot ignore data democratization and the insatiable appetite the business has for data will continue to increase exponentially. Now, number two on my list is cloud modernization or data as a service. Now I've grouped these two together as clouds the enabling platform for the data as a service technology to work. Now this means that companies can now access data sources that are being collected and curated by third parties via cloud services on a pay-as-you-go or a subscription-based billing model. And this reduces the need for companies to build their own expensive proprietary data collection and storage systems for many types of applications, which of course lowers the barrier to entry for smaller startup companies. This levels the playing field dramatically, where for the first time, small companies have access to the same capabilities as the well-established global organizations. Furthermore, the new players don't have any legacy technology to worry about. A great example of this is the Snowflake Data Cloud, which leverages the Snowflake marketplace to seamlessly share data sets without the need to physically copy data from one place to another. It allows organizations to share and consume up-to-date data sets, which creates opportunities to monetize existing data sets or augment internal data with externally available data to generate new products or services. If you'd like to learn more about monetizing your own data assets, then make sure to check out my video in the banner above now.
Now, cloud-based technologies play a big part in the democratization of data we mentioned in the first trend, as it allows businesses to work with data without needing to establish and maintain expensive and specialized data science operations. In 2023, it's estimated that the value of the market for these services will grow to $10.7 billion. Now, the third trend is artificial intelligence, or AI. And it's perhaps the one technology trend in this list that will have the biggest impact on how we live, work, and do business in the future. Its effect on business analytics will be to enable more accurate predictions, reduce the amount of time we spend on mundane and repetitive work like data gathering and data cleansing, and to empower workforces to act on data-driven insights, whatever their role and level of technical expertise. AI allows businesses to analyze data and draw out insights far more quickly than would ever be possible manually, using software algorithms that get better and better at their job as they're fed more and more data. And that's the basic principle of machine learning or ML, which is the form of AI used in business today. Now, AI and ML technologies can help with identifying patterns of fraudulent credit card transactions or false insurance claims, for example. And they're also deployed in helping determine the risk profile of a customer looking to secure finance or get an insurance quote. These financial models are fed a vast amount of data points, structured and unstructured data in an attempt to generate an accurate decision or price based upon the perceived risk. Great example of this kind of technology is Data IQ, an intuitive business friendly AI tool which seeks to enable all types of users, both technical and non-technical, to allow them the ability to create their own pipelines and data models. And if you're interested in finding out more about Data IQ, then you can check out my video on it in the banner above now. The fourth trend is using real-time data. And when you use that kind of data to make operational decisions or manage risk proactively, it's often better to know what's going on right now, rather than yesterday or last week or last month. And that is why real-time data is increasingly becoming the most valuable source of information for businesses. When working with real-time data, it often requires a more sophisticated data analytics infrastructure, which means more expense. But the benefit here is we're able to act on information as it happens. And that could involve analyzing clickstream data from visitors to our website to work out what offers and promotions to put in front of them. Or in financial services, it could mean monitoring transactions as they take place around the world to watch out for warning signs of fraud. Another example is monitoring the prices customers are quoted for insurance policies soon after making important decision and changes. Now, picking up an error early in what could be a complex process could be the difference between saving or losing millions of dollars. Social media sites like Facebook analyze hundreds of gigabytes of data per second for a range of use cases, including serving up advertising and present preventing the spread of fake news. And don't think this technology is in its infancy either, because in 2008, Domino's Pizza released its pizza tracker so that fans could monitor in real time if their pizza was in the oven or out for delivery. And by 2019, 65% of Domino's sales came through digital channels, including home devices and emoji text, reimagining the brand for the digital era. It's the fact that real-time data and analytics technologies have matured enough over the past few years to break into the mainstream, which is why it features as part of my top five trends for 2023. So my fifth and final data analytics trend for 2023 is data governance and regulation. Now, data governance will also be big news in 2023 as more governments introduce laws designed to regulate the use of personal and other types of data. GDPR wasn't the beginning and it certainly won't be the end. Strict data privacy legislation is appearing in more and more economies across the globe, meaning the list of GDPR free havens is growing shorter by the day. Canada, China, India and many more countries are likely to follow suit and introduce their own legislation protecting the data of their citizens. In fact, analysts at Gartner have predicted that by 2023, 65% of the world's population will be covered by regulations which are similar to GDPR. This regulation, coupled with recent high-profile data breaches at Optus and Medibank, means that governance will be an important task for businesses in the coming 12 months, wherever they are located in the world, as they move to ensure their internal data processing and handling procedures are adequately documented and understood. For many businesses, this will mean firstly understanding exactly what information they have, where it is, what it's used for, and how it's collected. And while that may seem like a lot of extra work, in the long term, the idea is that everyone will benefit as consumers will be more willing to trust those organizations with their data if they are sure it will be well looked after. 
Those organizations will then be able to use the data to develop products and services that align more closely with what we need at prices we can afford. And if you'd like to know more about how you can technically manage and secure your sensitive data within your data platform, please check out my video in the link above now. Thanks for watching this video on my top five data and analytic trends in 2023. I hope you find it useful and insightful. If you did, keep watching, keep subscribing. New videos coming very soon. Are you looking to grow your skills this new year and looking to fulfill your career potential? Maybe you've been frustrated by being stuck in a dead-end job in your company or your employer hasn't necessarily invested in you and you're stuck working with on-premise systems. Well, this is exactly why I designed this course, this program, Master in Snowflake. Um, my members joining me have typically got, got 10 to 15 years experience in IT and data specifically. They've often got a lot of skills and experience that they've poured time and effort into over the years and they want to be able to leverage that to the best degree. So they come to me, they're often quite confused about where to start. There's so many overlapping um, technologies out there, there's so many different buzzwords and I want to really help um, you and these people cut through all of that marketing hype and really get a good understanding of how to design and deploy solutions for the cloud. I choose Snowflake because I find it really um, empowering to work with. It's really easy to get up and running. Um, it's got a lot of good features and concepts as well. If you come in from an on-premise environment, it will be really uh, game-changing to you in terms of your day-to-day -day role. So I'm basically packaged up everything I've learned using Snowflake since 2017 across a range of implementations. Um, I've now got a number of recipes, if you like, that allow you to take the out-of-the-box capabilities of Snowflake, package them up to address real-world business challenges. This will save you time and effort, all of the kind of mistakes and everything that I had to make initially to get to this point, you will be able to kind of fast-track yourself to that. So as part of the program itself, I provide all of the uh, hands-on demos the code I use, the code templates, and the patterns I use with my enterprise scale clients. You also get access to a exclusive members only group to get expert advice and share knowledge, not only around Snowflake, um, although we do have a number of um, obviously discussion points around Snowflake itself, and that could also include certification or interview guidance and advice, but we also include, include any tools and technologies around the modern data platform space whether that be DBT, Matillion, Fivetran, Stitch, Alation, Atlan, Power BI, Tableau, you name it. You know, we, we've all got um, different experiences we can bring to the table. I also conduct live 60-minute group coaching calls, which are completely optional. And um, people from around the, the world turn up to those and ask me any questions, whether that be around technology, whether that be around data strategy um, or architecture advice and guidance. Your investment in yourself in terms of getting into this program will continue to pay um, dividends to you because obviously Snowflake is, is changing every single month and all of those updates are fed back into the program periodically over time. So it's all being designed by myself from the ground up. It's very practical, it's very hands-on, um, provide in-depth background, not just around the theory but with real-world case studies and in practical hands-on activities within each module. So if you're interested, this is what it looks like in terms of the course breakdown and the structure. Um, you can apply at the moment. We've opened the, the membership up for new applications. There's a link in the video description below. Please hit that link, um, apply to join. I'd love to have you as part of the program. The key thing for me is making sure you're the right fit and you're going to get the most amount of value from it. Thanks so much for listening. All the best on your Snowflake journey.